Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malikja 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So we have seen uh, the, the DBA basic checks and DBA health checks, how uh, each DBA has to do it the moment uh, his uh, shift start, whatever shift it is, right? Morning shift or afternoon or, you know, whatever shift he logs in, the moment he logs in, he has to do a couple of checks. So in, uh, in, my, in my previous session, we have seen how to check the DB status, how to check ASM or cluster status, listener status and service connections and all the mount points, ASM disk groups and DB health checks and you know uh, they are seeing colored log and trace files you know armen backup status everything we have seen it in my in previous session so in 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 in, in order to do all this in a in an automated or you know in a, in a systematic manner you know it is better to write a shell script and I already showed you the the, the the shell script what i written and then you know how uh, you know beautiful it is so i'm going to demonstrate that particular shell script uh, in this today's session so if you check it here uh, in my uh, you know lab session i have uh, one cell script called daily checklist.sh and one sql which contains actual queries so i already opened it in notepad this is a particular uh, daily checklist.sh this is a cell script if you see here in that cell script i am gonna uh, call out my batch profile whatever the batch profile you guys uh, you are having uh, environment you can call it out and whatever wherever your script you are placing those scripts you mentioned those scripts so if you see here i have my uh, you know oracle home oracle daily i just taken it as a sample path uh, this is the path i have kept all my sql and the cell script that the sql the sql query it has a multiple queries and uh, the cell script both i kept it here and even you can and then inside that i created one log directory and then if I go to that log directory, you can see home oracle daily logs and I don't have anything inside right, right now. I have set up all in uh, all these two script in a brand uh, new server. Just uh, assuming that you are implementing it in your lab, uh, in your production or, your test or in your development uh, database. So then uh, what, what that script, it should have my script directory and it should have my log directory and it should have a timestamp. And then what I'm doing going here, like what if I have ran my daily cell script, it have, it could have generated my daily uh, check that HTML file. I'll, I'll move it to the today's date because if somebody ran it in uh, in previous shift, that or whatever the 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 HTML file, I, I'll move it with a timestamp. And then uh, if there are any old uh, reports or uh, old uh, you know uh, HTML or text file, I'll, I'll move I'll remove it. And then what I'll do, I'll connect to my uh, database and I'll run this particular daily check underscore HTML dot SQL. This cell script internally calls my SQL script, right? SQL plus slash SQL plus hyphen F slash SHDB and then I'm going to run this particular SQL script. And then, uh, you know, what I'm going to explain you now what this daily check underscore HTML dot SQL will do. If you see uh, the cat of this file I did here and I'm going to trim everything server parameter server output I'll put it off and feedback off and echo everything uh, you know you know the, the the page size and markup language that HTML format everything I will get kept it on and then I will run all my uh, whatever the command output I'm going to spool it inside daily check dot HTML you can see here current date it will list out using this particular SQL and DB size it will list out using this particular SQL and instance status it will run using this particular uh, you know SQL and RKL log mode I will run it this this particular commands and number of table spaces I will run it this command and you know all, all this it has uh, you know so many uh, queries you can see here right locked sessions and active sessions and table space size right this is a table space size query and temp table space details and you know logon records and uh, you know armen backup last 90 days armen backup status and you know alert log error list and uh, current sequence number and archive gaps and you know so, so many things it has so many things and these are the archive log generated in last seven days uh, you know so many things it will collect and the moment uh, you know it will collect all the information and then I will uh, you know check for the uh, you know I'll log into the host name and I'll check it for the CPU memory and mount point size details 
with respect to you know uh, all the OS parameters. I'm I'm gonna capture here OS details uh, by by see by running the top command. I'm gonna list out uh, head hyphen n3 with the top command. I'll I'll see all the details like CPU, memory, space usage. And then if you go here I, with the free command, I'm gonna run it out. Like I'm gonna find it out how much free memory left out in my server. With the df-h command, I will find it out what are the uh, how much uh, uh, the space uh, how much mount points are used. And then I'm gonna uh, you know uh, pass the information to the disk uh, space report .sh. And uh, you know similarly the free command, I'm gonna uh, disk. Uh, you know it, it, it i think it's a type of it should be free hyphen grep memory it should be the naming convention you guys can change it out here it's gonna be uh, uh you know it's a free memory uh, or whatever it is you know whatever the naming convention you can make it out i made it as uh, only one uh, disk space report inside the disk space report only i'm adding my memory details as well as the mount point details and if from the top command i'm gonna call it out as a uh, db node cpu update dot lst these are like uh, the log file i'm gonna generate it out and finally at the end i'm gonna add all these reports to my uh, main daily dot html daily dot html is the one which uh, which has generated using my uh, you know this sql you can see right the spool file sql spool file daily check dot html for to this html file i'm going to add all the disk space details all the you know top db node uh, cpu usage and all this parameter waste related parameter i'm going to add it to my daily check you can see append this one right i'm going to append it out and at the end you know i'm gonna email list you can add your whatever the email addresses here and send that particular daily check that html file and then it will trigger a mail uh, to entire team if you put it a DL here it will trigger it to the entire team DL or if you put certain uh, specific your uh, you know team lead or manager or you know entire team member names it will uh, send out an email to the entire team member and then you can review the report so this is looks uh, pretty simple uh, this cell script and uh, inside the cell script I'm just uh, calling my uh, uh, SQL uh, list of queries and uh, my OS uh, checks I'm doing it here so I'm just going to show you uh, both the script here. So right now, as you see, there are no logs here. And then I'm just running for the first time. You can see right now, I, I, I wanted to move that one. If the previous HTML file is there, the daily check.html, it will move it to the uh, timestamp, uh, today's timestamp. And if there are any old disk space report and uh, CPU report, that will remove it. And it will generate the new report. And if I can go here, if I do ls, see you can see the daily check is came here, and db node update uh, details came here, and you know uh, all these reports came here. Uh, when when you ran for the first time, you can see all these five reports. And then I'm gonna run it out one more time to just to show you how it will backup. I'm gonna run it now, and then if I go here, and if I do ll now, you can see here the daily check. It has backed up with the today's date and the timestamp 2021 01 and 14 and uh, you know timestamp today's timestamp it will back up and then it will generate the new HTML file right it's a backup and it uh, now now see this time when I run it for a second time I don't see any this particular or error messages because already these files are available and this whatever the existing file it has moved. So this time I did not get any error message. So now if you see here, it has already taken a backup of my previous health check report and it created the new health check report. So if I if I see this particular uh, uh, you know report, okay, I already exported a cup, uh, those two reports here. I will uh, I already opened those two reports here. You can see uh, uh, since uh, you know I have both uh, one is from my lab machine and one is from my production server. If you see lab machine, you you don't see any much information control file like you know and the backup details and all like you know you see only uh, seven days logs and then there's no backup details and all. Whereas if you see this production report, uh, you know you can see because production database is running 24/7 and you know so many years. 
you know you, you obviously see more uh, you know more information in the production report right so if you see production database name and you know uh, you know all this uh, inactive sessions active sessions logs and uh, table space growth and you know last 90 days armen backup status you know and uh, uh, table stale tables so whatever the, if the tables are stale you know it list out here and then you can run the gather stats and you know you can see gather stats uh, you know gather schema status when when the uh, last time you know uh, gathering happened and the sn number and the production uh, you know gap and then you know uh, the archive generated from last 7 days and then if you see here uh, at the end of the report i am going to add my top command output and the free memory how much free memory and the df-h output i'm going to add it to uh, my the same report right if you see this particular uh, uh, you know this this is uh, this cell script uh, after running my uh, daily check.html uh, report i'm adding this top command output and the free hyphen uh, free uh, memory uh, free uh, um, grep mem command and the df-h command these three command output i'm adding it here right that is what you see it at the end of the report so th this is uh, this is pretty much for the today's session i'm gonna share it out uh, to you guys uh, this this daily checklist.sh and uh, daily uh, check underscore html that is cool these two you can uh, you know change whatever the changes needed as per your uh, environment and then you can make use of this uh, uh, you know automation for your day-to-day uh, -day monitoring uh, thank you guys that's it for today's session and i'll, I'll come up with a new session in my uh, next uh, uh, you know interaction thank you